It's really sad to me how over the past few years, the whole like me concept has just completely basically like fizzed into oblivion. I mean, you can still use them in Smash. I think maybe you can use them in Mario Kart still. I haven't touched Mario Kart in like two years, I'm gonna be honest. But like compared to the craze from like the 2010s, Mii's have basically completely died off. I mean, hell, there's no Mii channel anymore. The only way you can make these dudes now is by going to your profile settings and then finding your profile picture and then scrolling all the way down to make a custom Mii. That's the only way you can make them now. Maybe just custom characters in general are dying off. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember the last time I was desperate to make an Xbox Live avatar. But the games made with these dudes were so fun. You know, like we play, we party, or oh, we motion, we chess. Okay, maybe not Wii Chess. But you see, all these games were about the concept itself. The Miis were no more than a placeholder character for you to be in these games. But none of these games focused on the Miis themselves. That's how it always was. Until the Nintendo 3DS came from the heavens and went... Yeah, I guess we could make one about the Miis. And so we got these games. Uh, except one is a discontinued social platform. Uh, and the other one I need to find people who own 3DSs to play. I don't think that's possible. So we're gonna be talking about these two dudes today. Uh, to be fair, these two are actual games and not applications like the other two. So in reality, there's a lot more to these games. Tomodachi Life and Miitopia are two of my favorite Nintendo games of all time. I have sunk hundreds and hundreds of hours into these games. Whether it was watching the latest broadcast of Mii News, or slaying some monsters with random Mii's faces on them. These games were really weird, I'm not gonna lie to you. Tomodachi Life was the first ever me game, at least to release in the West. I mean, over in like Japan, they had another one of these. Um, for the DS, it was like the same exact game, except like bad. So we're gonna talk about Tomodachi Life, AKA the one that we care about. So let's start from the beginning. You start off on this nameless island that you've got to give its own name. I, I named it Vaseline. I added nine Islanders. First I added myself, of course. And then I add some buddies, you no know, one, two, three, four, five, you know, throw them all in there. Uh, and then, of course, I added Obama. And now, ladies and gentlemen, th this is where the fun begins. Your Islanders will get into a bunch of different shenanigans, you know, do all these stupid stuff. There'll be heartbreak. There'll be love. It's basically, okay, the fun of Tomodachi Life is it's basically just a reality TV show starring you and your friends. At one point, I gave one of my friends food. Uh, he liked it so much, he left the atmosphere. I... I... I don't even know how to explain this one. And so now you may be saying, Charlie, this game looks awesome, but where's the gameplay? <laughs> I got bad news, y'all. Tomodachi Life doesn't really have gameplay. You're mostly just interacting with the other islanders, getting to know them, and kind of just experiencing their lives from a like a like a narrator's perspective. If that makes any sense, it probably didn't. Sure, you can influence some of their choices, you know, but for the most part, you're just kind of hanging around. Something is just so fun about the shenanigans that go on in this game. It is just so cool to see everything that could happen. So when the one in a million chance that you still have a 3DS lying around, which you, you probably don't, and I don't blame you. With the success of Tomodachi Life, Nintendo obviously saw that there was a market for these kind of games. So where do you go after a life sim? Well, I'll tell you what any normal game dev wouldn't do. Uh, they wouldn't make a f***ing RPG. Miitopia is uh, basically a spiritual successor to Tomodachi Life where uh, there's actually a game. It's an RPG starring you and your buddies, Mies, where you go on some grandiose adventure to stop the big bad dude. Why? Because one day you're just chilling and everything goes to shit. I know, crazy plot. All the Mies lose their faces. But who would possibly do this? Who's the grand evil villain that would be possible of all of this? I f***ing knew it. So we start off at the beginning of the land of Miitopia. Get it? Me, me to- I'm gonna stop talking, dude. Oh my god. Where you have to set off on a journey to go save all the Mies and get all of their faces back. After they were ripped off by the big scary guy, Obama. By slaying all the monsters that now the faces are on for some reason. As you go off on your adventure, you meet more and more people who join on your journey. Which are more of your friends. But first, you gotta talk to God. Yes, you talk to literally God. Where he gives you the option to choose any class of your choosing. Fighter? Mage, cleric, thief, 
fucking dancer. You meet even more bad guys along the way. You meet a princess at one point. You meet a bunch of different people. And the coolest part is every single person you meet in this game can be somebody that you know. So this whole thing really just becomes your own adventure. Me tell me is definitely a very different style from Tomodachi Life, but if you're looking to play one of these games and you want to play an actual game, um, then I, you probably want to go with this one. In conclusion, Miitopia and Tomodachi Life are both incredible. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Hi. So, uh, this is, um, this is post-editing Charlie here. So, this video uh, that you're watching right now was recorded about a month ago. It's, it's, it's been a while since I recorded this, and it took me a while to get this together, which is why it took so long, you know, to finally get out. Um... And so this video ends, the conclusion, basically, um, is me talking about how Nintendo's never gonna make a me game again, and how it's really sad, because, honestly, in my opinion, they were some of their best games ever. In the time between me recording this, and this video coming out, Nintendo dropped a Nintendo Direct. Their first in 15 months. Keep that in mind. Um, I'm just gonna let the- I'm just gonna let the clip play for itself. I'm gonna also just let the video do the talking. Metopia. Coming to Nintendo, Nintendo what the fuck?